Alex Polizzi is an award-winning hotelier with over 20 years experience of working in the world's most luxurious hotels. Born into the legendary Forte hotel dynasty, she's on a crusade to transform Britain's most desperate hotels and B&Bs. You'd be as well off if you'd never had another guest in here. From outrageous owners to dodgy decor. I don't know who the decorator was, but she deserves to be bitch slapped. Nothing escapes the hotel inspector's beady eye. She's like a spy. Or her quest for perfection. Why are you ranked the worst? That's the question that I'm asking you. It's a complete false lie. This week, it's a tale of bright lights and family fights. Get your pole out, will you? I can't do one end if you're doing the other end, can I? If anyone complains about their breakfast, just say we don't eat it. I promise you, if anyone talked to me like that, they get a punch on the nose. <laughs> The whole thing about this hotel is it's like a big bar with some rooms attached. This is year zero. Take it from now. Yes, love. The Oakland, a two-star, 36-bedroom hotel in the town of South Woodham Ferrers, Essex. Home to the Dolbeer family. Bucket full of dirty water left in the corridor for someone to trip over and knock all over the floor. What the hell have we got ping-pong balls doing in here? Which one we put them up your ass? Dad, Jeff and Mum Marilyn bought the struggling hotel nine years ago investing their life savings, hoping to provide a rosy future for their children, Andy and Shelley. Andrew does the bar part of it. Thanks, Sausage. Thanks, mate. Shelley does the hotel part of it. Good evening, the Oakland Hotel. But for the Dolbeers, running the Oakland has been far from happy families. Andrew says Shelley don't do nothing, and Shelley says Andrew don't do nothing. There's a lot of riv rivalry and jealousy. You don't have to be jealous. No, you always have been with everyone wanting the final word. He's the boss, apparently. I think basically you're running. OK. He thinks he's in charge, and I'm in charge. Jeff has used his 30 years' experience as a painter and decorator to get hands-on redesigning the hotel's decor, even renaming the Oakland's very own nightclub. JD's is named after my dad, Jeff Dolber. I think he likes to have a social standing. Yeah. The beauty of this place is you can drink as much as you want and no matter where you live in Woodham, you can walk home. <laughs> or stagger home. <laughs> but it's Jeff's influence on the bedrooms that's caused the most conflict. Dad does the decorating. <laughs> nice and bright when you wake up in the morning. Nice orange wallpaper or yellow. My dad likes bright and bold. There's nothing wrong with green and yellow. It's horrible. It's summery. When he says modernise a room, he painted it peach. Truthful, no. This is nice. It is nice, isn't it? It's not exactly neutral, is it? Despite the family's huge investment, the hotel is struggling to pull in the punters. I would say the amount of money that I've put into it is probably, what, 800? 800,000? We're still spending money now. Bottomless pit. I've not taken wages to pay the VAT bill. I've actually paid it out my own account. And the reviews do little to help the bottom line. If you had bought this place, cancel, cancel, cancel. They write awful things. If you change the T in hotel to a V, you think, well, oh, it can't be that bad. Good view of the public toilets. We don't, we don't say that we've got a sea view or anything. If things don't improve fast, the family fear the party will soon be over. I would be sad if the, to lose the business if, it, if that was the only option out, yes. This business means everything, really. If we lost a business at this stage, we'd be devastated. We've put so much work in, we've given it our all. 
Against Jeff's wishes, the desperate Dolbeers have called upon renowned hotelier Alex Polizzi for help. I'm going to kill my son for putting me in this position, because I don't need this. I'll sack him. Goodness gracious me, here I am at the Oakland, and already my heart is starting to sink. Is it a hotel? Is it a nightclub? It looks very tatty at the entrance. I'll give the name um, Frosty Niggers. If she tells me to do something I don't agree on, then it won't get done. Simple as that. It looks like it's been ridden hard, this old pony. To find out where the family is going wrong, Alex will stay the night. Hi, I'm Alex Polizzi. Hello, pleased to meet you. I'm Marilyn. Very nice to meet you. Hello, all right? Nice to meet you too, mother and daughter. Do you get on well working together? We generally do, yeah. <laughs> it's the male. <laughs> it's the, the men who ruin the whole thing, <laughs> I know. Right. Isn't that always the case? <laughs> yeah. OK, do you want to take me to my room? Yes, I'll show you to your room. Yes? yes. Is that all right? Yeah, that's fine. OK, You're good. The Oakland's 36 rooms range from 40 to 65 pounds per night for bed and breakfast. For his special guest, Jeff has reserved the hotel's deluxe suite. I think that room is one of the best rooms we got. She's doing well to get that room. If she don't like it, I'll be surprised. This is definitely not my taste. I'm not thrilled to have as my canopy this Taiwanese lace. Peach and terracotta are not my favourite tones for a bedroom. But, I, I, you know, at least it's, it's neat. It's tidy. Um, I suppose that's the biggest compliment I can give it. And the bathroom leaves Alex shell-shocked. Honestly, a scallop spa bath is something new on me. What bothers me more than the aesthetics is the fact that it doesn't have a shower attachment. How on earth are you supposed to wash your hair? You know, this is now 2012. Surely people understand that much, at least. Down the corridor, Jeff's vibrant colour palette is also not to the hotel inspector's taste. This is a bit different, isn't it? It's very green. Very green indeed. Now, I'm wondering now if, as this is so different from the other room, whether I'm going to find complete schizophrenia in the decorating schedule. OK, listen, every single room has a different carpet. Every single room has different wallpaper. It's a shame, because actually the wallpaper's quite nice in here. But the combination of that with this bedspread and this carpet and those curtains is completely overwhelming. I think the problem is that whoever's decorating has no aesthetic taste. I think some of the rooms are quite modern. Um... How could he have put that wallpaper next to this carpet? I mean, honestly. You can't please some people. Downstairs, Alex discovers the Oakland doesn't offer guests a particularly warm welcome. I find this reception area one of the most depressing bits of the hotel, and it's kind of key to hotel success because it's that first impression that really counts. Signs like ID and searches are a condition of entry suggest to me that I'm coming somewhere a bit rough. Am I coming to a hotel or is it a nightclub? It just suggests that this is somewhere that people come to just get wasted. That's not very reassuring if you're coming here as a hotel guest thinking that that bar is basically going to be used by lots of people getting hammered. The Oakland's bar and nightclub doubles as the hotel's breakfast area. Alex is worried it may be responsible for some of the hotel's bad reviews. This is the only public area in the whole hotel. I don't know, it's just not very... It's not very conducive to having a coffee in the morning. It does mean that they're putting a lot of other people off. Although the nightclub is only open two nights a week, it's kind of taken over the whole establishment. The priority, the focus, is on the nightclub. In fact, the whole thing about this hotel is it's like a big bar with some rooms attached. 
With the hotel more boozy than busy, Alex wants to know from General Manager Andy whether the family have got their priorities right. Tell me, how much of your income comes from the hotel side and how much comes from the bar? We're just doing well 60-40. Towards the bar? To the, to the hotel. To the hotel. Yeah. Who's the boss? Are you? Yeah. Des, Des owns it, but I, I run it. OK. So. Fine. So can owner Jeff cast any light on what's going wrong with the Oakland? Afternoon. Hello. Jeff Dalby, the owner. Alex Polizzi. I hear you didn't want me. I just think the hotel's doing all right. And I hear you've got a nickname for me already. What, Frosty Knickers? I know, darling. First time I've ever been accused of that. So how do you think the business needs improving? He's mainly the one in charge of it. I, I just own it. He's, he's oh, the one that runs it. Oh, he's the one. He's the boss, yeah. is he? Well, not the boss. I get the final say, but... Obviously. I, I let, try and let him run it. The area that they could improve on is trying to get people done on a weekend to stay in the hotel on a weekend. Because we have a disco on a Friday night and a live band on a Saturday night. Oh, I would suggest it a long time ago. Well, he suggested it. Yeah, but you don't do nothing about it. Oh, but Shelley's Hotel. She's not a good suggestion about it. There must be ways of putting it on. You suggest it, you do it. Lordy, lordy me. With Jeff keen to prove he wears the trousers in the Oakland, Alex tackles him about his shortcomings as a designer. Did you put that wallpaper up, darling? What's wrong with the wallpaper on the walls? Eye popping. Glorious Technicolor. There you go. Nothing wrong with it. If that's the kind of thing, then fine, yeah. As long as the room's clean, all they really want is someone to put their head. Well, actually. So, what's it matter about how it looks? For the kind of person who is only interested in how much they're spending on a room, this is perfect. But if you want to increase your business, you have to have a wider appeal. And so you have to look at ways to achieve that. Now, in my bathroom, I don't have any way to wash my it's hair. It's a jet in the wash morning. bath. If you stick your head above the jet wash, you get in a jet wash. Luckily, Andy has the solution to hand. Thank you very much. That's I'll take this up to my room. See you in the morning for poached eggs on toast. Fried breakfast or nothing, as far as he's concerned. As Alex retires for the night, she worries this family business may be beyond fixing. Jeff was quite a bully, I thought, to Andy, which, considering he doesn't know me, he immediately made evident a kind of rift in the family. I'm feeling really nervous about it. Has Alex finally bitten off more than even she can chew? You're the head of the family, but that doesn't necessarily mean that you know the most about the business. Yes, love. The Oakland, Essex, a two-star, 36-bedroom hotel and nightclub owned and run by the Dolbeers. Good evening, the Oakland Hotel. Where teamwork seems to be a dirty word. Come in and I find fault. I don't like the ice machine being dirty. Be truthful, look at it. It's not been done, is it? Well, it has been done, actually. No, it's there's filthy. not much in there. It's not filthy. The Dolbeers have sunk their life savings into their struggling business and, as a last resort, have turned to renowned hotelier Alex Polizzi for help. She'll criticise a few things, no doubt. I want to kill my son for putting me in this position, because I don't need this. But after a good night's sleep, Alex finds the Oakland's deluxe suite experience a little too revealing. No neck curtains, giving on to the square, so it's either get dressed in the Stygian gloom or expose yourself and one's 40-year-old body to the masses, which, frankly, I wasn't that keen to do. I don't care how Alex slept. I slept all right. She didn't sleep all right. That's her problem. The biggest bugbear was no shower attachment. I mean, really, that jug was absolutely essential. Without a dedicated restaurant, in the morning, the Oakland's JD's nightclub becomes the hotel's breakfast room. So you're making my breakfast? I am indeed. All right, then I'll have fried eggs and bacon. Fried eggs and bacon? Yeah. Lovely. Thanks. OK. Mm -hmm. Nice and greasy. Obviously, the ingredients aren't local farm produce or anything like that. You get what you pay for, basically. Standard breakfast comes, we call it complimentary with a hotel. You're not really paying for it because the rooms are cheap, but it's complimentary with a hotel. 
And if anyone complains about the breakfast, just we just say we don't eat it then. Great. There we go. Lovely. Right. But while the breakfast might pass muster, this looks fine. There's still a hangover from the night before. I don't particularly like having all this set up on the bar. Um, I don't particularly like a bar at this hour in the morning anyway. You do get that slight aftertang of beer being spilt. Quite unpleasant. With Alex's breakfast bar experience leaving a sour taste, it's clear the family are treating the hotel side of the business as a poor relation. If the Oakland is going to start attracting more guests, there need to be changes, starting with the exterior. You have a chance to make the first impression within 30 seconds. What is your first impression of the hotel if you're arriving as a hotel guest? Posters. Posters. Some rather tatty outdoor furniture. Blackboards. Mm. All showing how cheap your liquor is, basically. The impression is that what you're really advertising is JD's uh -huh. rather than the hotel. And personally, I would like to see all the nightclub stuff move slightly more that end. So that hotel entrance is exactly what it says. Mm. Well, the general idea is the, the pub always needs pushing and getting people in and that, and the hotel should look after itself. Yeah, but maybe yeah. it don't. Oh, that's his attitude, that's his attitude. Know, yeah, yeah, that's what I get. I know, but if it was managed properly, it would. Same with the bars. Hotel's doing better than the bars. Yeah, they're not. Yes, they are. They're not. Yes, it is. Do you really have to have these posters everywhere? Definitely. Because it advertises what we do over night time. Yeah, but you don't do it every bloody night, darling. It's a weekend thing. You've got five days a week where you're operating as a hotel and where actually now most of your income is coming from. Yeah, only now, but it wasn't before. I and mean, those posters have been but up ages. we're talking about now, love. We're talking this... This is year zero. Yeah. Take it from now. Yes, love. With feelings running high, Alex tackles Jeff about his attitude. Look, we haven't spent much time together, but when we talked yesterday evening, you were quite critical of Andy in front of me, and we'd never met each other before, and I think, you know, I certainly wouldn't have exposed my family dynamic in that way. You know, you're the head of the family, but that doesn't necessarily mean that you know the most about the business. I think that's one of the things we're going to have to work with, that and this exterior. But Jeff is still concerned about Alex's view on his beloved JDs. One of the things that I was worried about you was going to say is that you was going to try and stop the nightclub side. No, no, no. I think it's great that you have a, you know, a, a busy nightclub. I mean, you need the money. I, I'm not... That, that's how one keeps that's, that's going. That's one of the things I was worried about. I think that you just have to work out how to make sure you keep both sides of the business working, but maybe just making sure that the hotel isn't always secondary to that side of things. The noisy weekend nightclub turns over nearly half of the Oakland's revenue. So Alex wants the Dolbeers to concentrate on boosting the hotel's midweek income by getting them to revamp the rooms and attract higher paying corporate clients. What we're trying to do basically is broaden the appeal of the Oakland. If we want to try and increase revenue midweek, what I'd like to do is to help you improve a number of your rooms so that we can make sure that there's some rooms at least that you can sell at a premium. I mean, you know, we're not talking top flight fancy pants design here. We're just talking about a nice clean palette. What's wrong with the orange rooms? Well, it's they're they're... nice and fresh still. Okay, well, let's keep the orange rooms out of the car. No, the orange rooms have got to be done. And there's some bright green ones as well. To help the hotel appeal to the midweek business clientele, Alex is going to make the Oakland's breakfast experience more appetizing. I'm going to tackle the bar. I'd like to enhance the breakfast presentation so that people who are staying here feel like this is something that you're giving with generosity and with a bit of thought as to how, how stylish and nice it looks. Finally, Alex believes if the family are to stand any chance of saving the business, they need to put an end to all the argy-bargy. It is very evident to me that you guys don't work as a team. And that is something that I really want to tackle. It's horrible working for your parents, darling. I know it's annoying um, employing your children too. It's bloody hard both ways. But 
as a child who has worked for my mother, you know, it's really boring always to be criticised. You want to do a good job. You want your parents to be proud of you. You know, you are all working towards the same end goal, which is to make some bloody money. As Alex leaves the Oakland, Seal it up. Mum Marilyn and daughter Shelley are feeling optimistic. I think Alex is definitely on our side, <laughs> yeah. for sure, <coughs> yeah. It is all for the good of the hotel, and I say Andy and I are equal partners, and Marilyn and Jeff, mum and dad, are equal partners, so they've got to start listening to the girls. The Oakland Hotel definitely has potential, but I'm worried the family never stop bickering enough to make it work. I mean, we need a red coat rack, but it shouldn't be there, so I don't know where that's going to go. I thought that for ages. There's obviously a schism between father and son and the men and women in this family. Well, you never said nothing. Well, no, because I know that you... you don't I have said before, and you, you've said no. Yes, dear. Frankly, I don't know whether they'll be able to work it out. With Alex gone, the family waste little time revamping the hotel's unwelcoming exterior. We've got a list of things that we need to do before Alex comes back next time. We knew it had to be done, but we just needed that push, really. For ages, I've been saying about the JD sign. Shouldn't be above the hotel. And then as soon as Alex said it, they said, oh, yeah, it's a good idea. Yep. The facade may be changing, but the signs aren't good for the Dolbeers' teamwork. Get your pole out, will you? I can't do one end if you're doing the other end, can I? Well, you know Alex says we should work better as a family. Well, what, how do you think we can improve things in that direction? Just leave me alone and I can get on with what I'm doing. All oh, right, OK. They've assured me that they are going to tidy up all the exterior. Get rid of all that messy advertising. Make it clear that there's a hotel as well as a nightclub. Can they do it without arguing? Personally, I doubt it. I don't think we should throw that away. Yeah. We can do it. Well, no, it's a nice sign. You could put your own room rates I'll in give it. you a nice sign. Just taking the rest of the rubbish. For waste. Having decorated the hotel in his own image, Jeff isn't letting go just yet. Yeah. Although I don't think I need Alex, I want to give her a chance, do everything that she wants, and if I don't like it, I want to put it all back again. Can Alex soften up Jeff? It looks a bit boudoirish. Or will her plans leave her red-faced? Looks like a gay bar. Doesn't look like any gay bar I've ever been in. Renowned hotelier Alex Polizzi is in Essex, helping the Dolbeers turn around the fortunes of the faltering Oakland Hotel. So far, the family have ploughed £800,000 into the hotel, but are finding it hard to work together to make the business a success. Go and have a look. Go and have a look. Once, once well, it ain't been done. Week. Go and have a look. So it should be done once a week. There's so many of these. Part of Alex's plan to get the hotel back on track is for the family to stop their squabbling and learn to work as a team. So she's arranged a visit to a team-building activity centre where the Dolbeers will take part in a series of challenges that can only be completed if they all work together. Don't pull it hard, just, just pull it gently. Oh. The purpose of this is to encourage all four family members to work better together. Chill, drop your blues. Oh, yeah. Just drop them. To communicate more coherently. Go on, down, down, down. Down! To offer praise a bit more readily. You need to listen instead of barking orders. No, I barked the orders. You, you didn't listen. know what you were doing. Once. You said left hand blue. No, didn't I didn't shut, say left hand blue. You said left hand blue. Bollocks. And to see their own faults rather than just everyone else's. She don't know the difference between forward and back. Aggressive man, and you're very aggressive towards your sister. Turn it Not down. Much, I would be interested to see if the girls can do it and do it effectively without quite so much barking. Right, Shelley, you've got to pull yours a bit, and Jeff, you've got to release yours a bit. Both oh. you two got a pull, Shelley and me. Right, and me and Marilyn release. Mum, what are you doing? Oh, <laughs> I 
wouldn't want to be part of your team. Mm. I promise you, if anyone talked to me like that, they'd get a punch on the nose. <laughs> You've got to think about what the norms of human behaviour are. Mm. You know, if someone who wasn't your family talked to you like that, it would be completely unacceptable, wouldn't it? Having lost their bottle on the first task, the next requires even more team spirit, as the family take it in turns to prepare a vodka and tonic while blindfolded. It's a challenge that aims to encourage trust within the group. Right, Dad, walk <laughs> straight on. Keep walking forwards. Come to a table. <laughs> That's it, Nepal. See it's a bit, right? Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Right, you've got the edge of lemon there, so. Brilliant. Okay. Right, Shelley, reach forward. A bit more. That's it. This time, there's cause for celebration. Thank you. Yay! Not a drop spilled. Cheers! Today's been quite effective because I think they saw after the second challenge that they can speak to each other a bit more civilly and it makes them a more effective team. I think we've learned probably not to shout, shout too much and uh, try and talk a bit nicely. But saying that and doing it is a. Uh, How long that lasts, I don't things, know. Back at the Oakland. Alex's design team are hard at work in JD's nightclub, creating a new bar and breakfast area to serve the midweek hotel guest. I've sent my design team in to look after the interior as promised, but they have got to keep their side of the bargain. To further attract the higher paying corporate customer, the Dolbeers have agreed to redesign some of the Oakland's color clashing bedrooms. I don't think they really know what a premium room looks like. To help give them inspiration, Alex has arranged for the family to visit the nearby three-star Ivy Hill Hotel. I'm going to literally give them an example of what I think a good deluxe premium room is like, what businessmen want, and hopefully they can at least copy it. The rooms may be easy on the eye, but Jeff is finding the experience hard to swallow. I think my rooms are on par with this, really. It's, uh... <laughs> When I decorated the rooms, you had no complaints at all. It was nine years ago. Doesn't matter. Christ, nine years is nothing. <laughs> Shut up. Despite the opposition, Jeff remains adamant the Oakland's decor is up to scratch. What is it with all these big pattern wallpapers? Look at it, though. It's nice. I say you to throw a wallpaper on one wall, a liquor paint on the other walls, but then you've got furniture, bulbs, lamps. Probably need a bit updated a bit more, but... Yeah, you can't decorate a room and leave that furniture in. You just can't. Jeff might not be green with envy, but the penny drops when Shelley raises the subject of potential profits. If we did a room like this, we could charge £15 extra, which is £3,500 a year. On one room? On one room. One room. Convinced by the idea of a profit-making premium room, the family set about choosing a new accommodation colour scheme. Get the brown carpet with the brown curtain. Oh, not God. What? <laughs> What's your light? Yeah, a little bit darker than that, but that sort of pattern, probably. Curtains with the little diamonds Thanks. in. That's more luxurious. What do you think? If it's all like that, it's going to be like living up an elephant's arse, I think. <laughs> all grey. Using a new teamwork approach, the Dolbeers find a diplomatic solution to resolve their differences. Should we have a vote on it? Who's in favour of going for this colour scheme? Bollocks. <laughs> right, majority carried. Put it on the wall. Determined to make his mark on the design, Jeff can't help but make a last minute change. Shocking pink, you want in that? A bit of shocking pink. That's a better one. Yeah, That's it. That's it. Sorted. The new room might be causing discord, but the family have pulled themselves together to improve the hotel's exterior. It looks great here. There's a huge difference. We've been so busy, we haven't had time to argue. Yeah. <laughs> That's good, isn't it? Yeah. The Dolbeers have made a step towards improving a guest's first impression of the Oakland but it's inside where Alex's team have made the real difference. The once cluttered and unappealing reception has been transformed into something providing a more inviting and professional welcome. So, 
The purpose of this was to make it much nicer for incoming hotel guests. Have I achieved that, do you think? Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Definitely. Yeah. 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 It's yeah. very nice. This is not just the entrance to the bar. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, you know, take away the yellow chairs and you still have a perfectly acceptable nightclub entrance. Are you happy with it? Yeah. yeah well impressed, yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Good. I'm glad. Alex has also transformed JD's bar into a multifunctional room for use by midweek hotel guests and weekend clubbers alike. By using bold contemporary wall colours and a selection of sofas, she's created a dedicated lounge area. This is the area that you can sit and have a coffee in the morning or read the papers if you're staying in the hotel, if you have to hang about for a while. By taking breakfast off the bar and into a purpose-built area, guests can now enjoy a full hotel experience with their full English. All of a sudden, it looks kind of French brasserie style, doesn't it? Yeah, it does actually. I really like it, yeah. I really like it, yeah. Like it. Really yeah. Like it, yeah. <clears throat> Alex may have injected some much-needed ooh-la-la into the breakfast room, but for Andy and Jeff, it's a little too continental. I think it looks a bit... Boudoirish. Looks like a gay bar. Doesn't look like any gay bar I've ever been in. Pink, 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 very girly. I think, whatever you think of the colour scheme, this is a cut above. You know, it's a little bit smarter. I know this is probably hard for you because I'm trying to make this a, an attachment to, to the hotel rather than a standalone. Mm. But I honestly think that it's for the great good of the business. I just want it all to work better together. Yeah? Yep. With Alex's refurbishment complete, it's time for the family to show off their makeover skills. Alex wants them to come up with a bedroom design to attract midweek business customers. But the colour scheme fails to tickle the hotel inspector's fancy. Oh, I see. So my pink wall <laughs> is a bit pansy. That's a bedroom. Yes. Right. This so you think a bedroom. people would be more comfortable with having pink Only one in private? Wall. I never picked it out. You, you did pick that out as you well. That yeah, I said it would you not. You swapped it over. Yeah. Bedrooms are supposed to be soothing. Painting any feature wall, like a duck egg blue mm. or a soft green, is always really inoffensive. Right. After banning the shocking pink from the bedroom, Alex leaves the family to start working on building their new premium double. I hope that this visit would make Jeff realise that his decor just won't cut it. But you know, he's pretty sure of himself. It's vital they get the new room right because Alex has a plan to put the Oakland on show. Hello. It's Alex. Oh, hello. I'm going to invite some important businesses who are looking around for somewhere that they can book in um, employees to stay. And they book hundreds of room nights a year. Oh, dear. I challenge you to do a superior class of room. Right. Do you think you're going to be able to do it in time for my return next week? Well, that puts me on the spot, doesn't it? For you? No. No, I will. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'll get it done. OK. Yeah? Yep. Yeah. yeah, yeah, OK. So you've only got a week, love. Well, best you get off the phone then so I can get cracking. All right. Thanks, love. Bye. Bye. Shit. Very dashing. Can the Dolbyers pull together? I'm already out there. Come on. You're the manager. Or will the new look Oakland fall apart? How can something so simple be such a complete number of cooking? Jeff Dolbeer and his family have sunk more than £800,000 into the Oakland, their struggling Essex hotel and nightclub. In an attempt to boost the Oakland's midweek trade, hotel inspector Alex Polizzi has redesigned the reception area and bar to appeal to the modern business traveller. And she's asked the family to work together and redesign their outdated deluxe room into a modern premium double. To put the New Look Oakland to the test, Alex has invited the cream of Essex's business community to a special relaunch event. 
The businesses book hundreds of hotel rooms each year worth tens of thousands of pounds. If the family can work together to impress their VIP visitors, it could turn around their fortunes. I'm really nervous about today because this is the last chance the Oakland has to show that it's turned over a new leaf. But first, Alex wants to check the Oakland's new premium room is up to scratch. Ooh, look at this. Very nice headboard, very nice wallpaper, great coordination colour scheme. And the furniture is lovely. Can you see the difference now? Yes, a different colour. <laughs> Can you see the difference yes, in yes. why this might be more appealing to the modern traveller? Oh, it does look, it really looks nice. Thrilled the family have gone the extra mile with the furniture and fittings, Alex offers some last minute advice before the relaunch event gets underway. The main thing is that you are wreathed in smiles. You look ecstatically happy to have the privilege and honour of running this family business all together. <laughs> exactly, well practised. And, um, and that, um, you know, it looks like we're all having a good time. Yeah. All right? Okay. Let's go down. With Essex's top movers and shakers about to arrive, and with hundreds of room bookings on the line, Alex is expecting the Dolbyers to work together to win new business. They've decided Marilyn will show off the new premium room, while Jeff oversees a lunch in the revamped bar and lounge. You look lovely. I really do. Leaving Andy and Shelley the important job of greeting and schmoozing the guests. Andrew, you're at the front. We're already out there. Come on. I can't do it on my own. You're the one that greets them on a normal day. I'm not here on a normal day. With the faces of the new Oakland in position, the first wave of VIPs descend on the hotel. But as the Oakland's hot prospects arrive, I this. they find the welcome a little lukewarm. Good afternoon, welcome to the Oakland Hotel. Oh, yeah. I've introduced myself, they don't seem to say who they are. <laughs> so it's a bit, I don't know who these people are, so. Inside, Jeff is doing his best to paper over the cracks. But I suppose you sleep upstairs, you don't sleep amongst this stuff, because if you walk up this, like this in the morning, you'd have an headache, wouldn't you? And Marilyn's hoping to impress with the Oakland's new premier room. This is the one we've done over the last few days. Oh, this looks lovely. Alex gave us a task. Oh, that's really nice. I've done four. But front of house, the squabbling siblings remain unmoved. You're sitting there permanently in a minute. You're the manager. You're hotel manager. I don't do no hotel stuff. I'm coming out in a rash. As the VIPs tuck into lunch, Alex is concerned Andy and Shelley aren't making the most of the networking opportunity. There is none of that interaction with the guests that actually you might need if you want to run a bit more of a, an upper end establishment. And I'm a bit nervous now that I've bitten off more than they can chew. With the siblings conspicuous by their absence, Alex takes matters into her own hands. A gentleman from Kelly Bonds is here. Oh, no one says hello to him yet. I'd what? love you to go up and meet him. He's there. Go up and introduce yourself as the manager or whatever you want to do, darling, but someone go and talk to him. Thank you. You go and talk to anyone who looks like they're not doing anything. There's a lady in an orange top who's desperate to see the bedrooms as well at the end. Good afternoon. How are you going? You right? Welcome to you down to the Oakland. All right. How yeah. are you doing? Good. Very well. Right. Thank you very much. But the family's efforts to make a good impression fail to leave a mark. Excellent. How can something so simple be such a complete and utter fucking if the Dolbyers are going to pull this off, Alex knows they're going to have to start pulling together. I think your children need a bit of encouraging or kicking. You're going to have to mingle a bit. I know it's a pain, but you're going to have to mingle quite a bit. Yeah. Have to be chatty. Yes. We're not really like that, are we? It's not that way inclined. It's hard, isn't it? <laughs> I know, darling, but that is what this business is about. It's yeah. not just about throwing room keys at people. I want you to see you be charming and chatty, fulsome.
With Alex's words ringing in his ears, Andy finally musters the courage to make new contacts. Did you get, did you get an invite? Yeah. Oh, golly. Yes, I haven't crashed it. <laughs> Even Shelley's overcome her nerves. Okay, this is our new, this is our new room. We're hoping to get a, a few done every few months. Oh, it's very Just nice. Just got a bit yeah. of an extra, extra touch to it, really. Yeah, absolutely. Compared to standard rooms. Boutique hotel room, is it? Yeah. Oh, it's really nice. Yeah. Easy yeah. on the eye. Oh, it's really, really good. Nice. You can do that in four days. Yeah, it's like, <laughs> the official that. test. Me too. It's well done. <laughs> As the event winds down. Alex wants to find out if the distinguished business guests were impressed enough by the New Look Oakland and the Dolbeer's charms to book some rooms. I think the room you've done up is really smart. So definitely love to send people your way. Good. 100%. Thank you. We also have a lot of subcontractors and engineers coming down from up north to see demonstrations. So that would be ideal if the rooms to that standard. Okay. It was great. Good. OK. Sounds good. Great, thank you. Finally, last but not least, of course, Definitely for our societies and any corporate events we have, we will be sending them your way. Good. Good. Thanks. Thanks. Thank you. Great. Thank, Thank, you. You. Thanks. 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 It seems the Dolbeer's teamwork has paid off. Before she leaves the Oakland, Alex sits down with the family one last time. You know what was amazing? I spoke to at least four or five tables who said, oh my goodness, we'd never have thought of coming through these doors. Now we've been through, we'll come again. I mean, overwhelmingly, there was a very positive reaction. Yeah, it's good. Very well. Yeah. Yeah. I've seemed impressed with the rooms. What do you think, Jeff? You bought this for your kids. Do you feel a bit more relaxed about the future? Uh, yeah. Hopefully in the next sort of three or four years, I hope to take a bigger step back. Although for the next year, I'm going to come down more often, get the rooms done. But after that, I expect them to take over from me and, uh, and, and get on with it. That would be fantastic. And my last piece of advice is, don't argue. I don't think it's done us any harm. Oh, I love it, master of the understatement. You're more effective united than you are divided. The hotel and the bar should work very closely together, and that's really up to you two. And the best of luck with it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Right, Thank you. Bye bye. I was wrong to think that um, I didn't need her, although a bit more experience, I would have picked that up myself. But she's got her. She's got her point. I was very worried when I came here. It's a tough proposition to have a hotel and a nightclub side by side. I'm relieved that we found some solution to it. I think she's gone from frosted knickers to melted knickers, and um, she's quite nice in the end, I suppose. Next time. <laughs> this is really like a 1950s boarding house. I'm like a little girl. Welcome to the Mad House. <laughs> You'd be as well off if you never had another guest in here. And Alex is inspecting again next Thursday at 9. Meanwhile, tomorrow it's catfights and cuddles as the handsome and eligible Spencer Matthews continues his search for love. To whom will he hand that rose? The new series of The Bachelor, Friday night at 10 on Channel 5. In just a mo, Big Brother.